OpenSIPS Control Panel. OpenSIPS Control Panel is the graphical user interface for OpenSIPS. It's an important piece of software and the installation of the OpenSIPS Control Panel is a little bit tricky. I tried to make the instructions as simple as possible, but uh, copy them carefully and mainly the dependencies to avoid having problems. So let's go. Here, this is the unpublished, unpublished lecture, OpenSIPS Control Panel installation. I'm going to the preview as instructor. Okay, as instructor, so uh, we have the full uh, installation instructions on this page, right? I just try to simplify as much as possible for you. And let's go. Let's start doing inst installing the dependencies. So let's go. Installing. For some reason, I tried a few times, and what happened to me was sometimes it didn't uh, install everything at once. So let's see, it has installed only the Apache, even if I have copied the three lines. So let me do line by line that it's certainly safer. In this case, at least for the dependencies. I, I think maybe my terminals with any some problem on cut and paste or something like this. It's it's funny mainly for dependencies. When I do more than one, one line at a time, sometimes I have a problem with cut and paste. So let's see. Great. So let's see. PHP 7.3 CLI, curl, MySQL. It seems that everything is here. So let's continue. The dependencies are installed. So let me do a clear here. And let's start again. Now I'm going to install the OpenCPCP. So I'm going to the var www.html. I will download the file from uh, the OpenCPCP control panel. Let me try again here and let's see if we don't have, we would will not have any problem. So there are lots of instructions. Let's copy. Okay, seems fine. Uh, and the last instruction is to reconfigure the OpenSIPS, the Apache file, the default file. Um, I could suggest you to edit the file on top of let me do a VI etc Apache to sites available. Okay, and here we have two files: 000 default and default SSL. So I want to to edit the 00 default. So it, this is a basic uh, virtual host with the document document slash var slash document root and slash var slash www slash html. So what I'm going to do to simplify and to avoid mistakes is simply uh, using D, I will remove everything, except this line, the VIM line. Okay, now I'm going to here, let me copy all these lines to here, control C. And now I'll use an insert and done. Seems that everything seems fine here. Let me save. System CTL restart Apache 2. You have to restart as instructed here. Restart Apache 2. Right. And okay. Now we can test. So I'm going to put the my IP address. 192.168.15.93 slash cp control panel. So we are now on the login screen of the control panel. Admin open sips. Done. It's created. System here. I can see everything. I can start uh, adding users if I want. It seems that everything seems, uh, seems working just fine. This was one of the fastest installations of the OpenSIPS control panel that I've ever done. 
because everything was so simplified to you. And actually, we can do this because we are using a specific operating system. We can have a specific instructions to make it work. So this is the OpenSIPS control panel installation. Thank you.